How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another Discover Wellness with Dr. David, where we're diving into Google's most searched health and wellness questions. Today, we're answering the number two most searched question, which is, what is keto? I uh, asked to be the hottest diet that I hear. Uh, everybody I know has either known somebody who's tried it or knows somebody who's talking about trying it. Uh, let's, let's be honest here. <laughs> uh, but first, I'm going to jump into what are ketones? Uh, what is How are they used in the body? Uh, how are they produced? And... Uh, what upregulates and downregulates their production. Uh, I'm going to dive into the keto diet as well. I'm going to go over some of the advantages and disadvantages and uh, my anecdotal experience as well. Uh, so first and foremost, what are ketones? Uh, ketones are an energy source that are able to be produced uh, in your liver. Uh, your liver produces most of the ketones that are used in your body. Uh, most of your organs can use ketones. Uh, your brain can run mostly off of them. Uh, it still has to run off of a little bit of glucose, uh, but fortunately your body has the ability to produce those as well, even uh, with zero carbohydrate intake. Uh, now, uh, when you do run out of carbohydrate stores, when you run out of liver and muscle glycogen, uh, your ketone production will upregulate greatly. Uh, one of the main ketones that are produced is called beta-hydroxybutyrate. Uh, it's been shown to have some anti-inflammatory properties. Uh, and additionally, uh, if you're a healthy metabolic individual, uh, you will be producing ketones when uh, you increase your fat intake as well. Uh, you and I are producing ketones as of right now. Uh, you do constantly throughout the day. Uh, your ketone production upregulates when you're sleeping. Uh, and it's something that is uh, part of a healthy metabolic process. Um, so uh, what are some things about the keto diet? Uh, what are some advantages and disadvantages? Uh, some of the advantages, uh, a lot of individuals speak about decreased hunger levels when they're eating a ketogenic diet. Uh, it seems to be caused by these lacks of insulin spikes. Uh, when you have a low carbohydrate intake, you don't have these massive uh, spikes in insulin that mess with your leptin and ghrelin levels. And so many individuals are able to maintain a calorie deficit uh, while in a keto diet uh, with less discipline than uh, they typically would require with a, a carbohydrate intake diet. Now, the problem is, is a lot of individuals lose lots of weight on the keto diet. Uh, they have lots of success with it. And then when they go back to eating the foods that got them in the situation uh, that they got on the keto diet to fix in the first place, a lot of them gain the weight right back. Uh, it's very common. Uh, most individuals uh, who then stop the keto diet gain the weight right back. Uh, but that's true of any diet. Uh, most diets have a, a very high failure rate and uh, only diets that are able to be uh, stuck to long term and uh, are able to be maintained with a moderate amount of discipline uh, are going to give you success in the long run. Um, so uh, the keto diet is able to be sustainable for some individuals. Uh, some people do really well with it. Some people uh, are perfectly satisfied. Uh, as long as you're getting all of your micronutrient intakes, uh, be that through supplementation or uh, uh, getting in at least some green vegetables, I would certainly recommend that. Um, but it's, as long as you're getting your micronutrient intakes, uh, you make sure you get your blood work done, make sure uh, your body is responding uh, correctly to it. Uh, some individuals have genetic polymorphisms that can affect the way that they uh, digest saturated fat, uh, such as uh, APOE4 uh, genetic polymorphism, which is experienced in about a quarter of the population. So uh, certainly take some of those things into account uh, when, you're, when you're changing your complete diet. Uh, in lifestyle. Make sure uh, to go see your doctor and make sure uh, that your body is responding positively to any changes that you make.